In today's advanced society, we have a variety of food products to choose from. Raw meats, vegetables, and processed foods are produced with caution and utmost care. Despite these precautionary procedures intended on keeping products free from contaminants, stealthy microorganisms are capable of infiltrating at any stage of the production process. From the time it is picked to the time it is put on a dinner plate, we are at risk. This is of great concern considering large numbers of people can be affected by these incidents. The media is especially keen and concerned with these kinds of events and are quick to report any time a contamination occurs. As a result, we are coerced into thinking that all microorganisms are bad, when that is not the case. Food poisoning happens very quickly and can be life-threatening. Therefore, it is vital that we continue to maintain the integrity of our food safety standards in order to protect the lives of our community. While we think of bacteria as very bad, some of them can actually be very good. This video is intended on providing you with information that will change the way that you think of these microorganisms that actually are very good for our lives. When we hear the term bacteria, we generally think of illness, when in reality, only 2% of bacteria are actually capable of causing illness. But the question remains, do all bacteria that make their way into our food products pose a threat to our well-being? And the answer is no. E. coli, arguably one of the most misunderstood microbes around, actually can get you sick, but that is in reference to the O157H7 strain. This particular strain contains external structures and can potentially produce toxins that will amplify your illness. This differs heavily from the strain of E. coli on this side that is naturally found in the gut and is involved in producing essential vitamin K, which is involved in the blood clotting process. In addition, this strain of E. coli also helps us with our metabolism. Campylobacter, another misunderstood microbe, is in a similar situation. This microorganism also has non-pathogenic strains that will not cause illness, yet most of the time on the media you hear about this in a very negative light. Now, while these microorganisms are commonly associated with the gut and other natural reservoirs, let's talk about other products we consume daily, like milk, yogurt, and water. Lactobacillus bulgarius, Streptococcus domophilus, and Bifidobacterium are considered the probiotics that are found in these products. Now, these aid with digestive health, and that is very good. Now, moving on to water, one of the most important nutrients available to us also contains a variety of microorganisms. While the wastewater treatment methods do do a great job at filtrating a lot of the bacteria found within the water, a lot of them still stick around. But that does not mean that it will cause harm to our well-being. As long as these water samples contain permissible amounts of bacteria, it is okay for it to be distributed to the community. Notice how I said permissible amounts. There are times where we actually can consume bad bacteria, but that does not necessarily mean that we will fall ill. In some cases, people can actually fight off these infections before they actually begin. Let's say in theory, I have a plate of green beans. And let's say that this plate of green beans in particular contains 50 cells of pathogenic E. coli versus another plate that contains 500,000 cells of E. coli. Which one do you think would be more likely to cause an illness? Right you are, the one containing the 500,000 E. coli cells. Upon consuming something with a small amount of pathogenic bacteria, our immune system actually may be able to find it, target it, and destroy it before it can cause an infection. Now, if you were to consume something that contained a lot more cells, your immune system might have a much harder time tracking that down, thus leading to infection. Although we have food safety standards and a wonderful immune system that does a great job at keeping us healthy, these stealthy microbes can still inadvertently make their way into our food. But it is important to remember that not all bacteria pose a threat to your well-being. 